Grandpa Cletus Teen Daycare, Episode 3. Why is that chicken so dirty? We are back again. We are going to go pick up somebody. Some mama said, listen, I got to go to the grocery store. And I need you to watch my daughter on the way home from school because I don't want to stand her by herself. But I didn't tell her. So this could be a little bit awkward because she doesn't know that I'm coming to pick her up. So <laughs> hope this works. I think this is her right here. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me. Is your name Naya? Your name is, okay, well you, why don't you go ahead and hop in here, uh, cause your mama told me to come and get you. Sure. There you go. All right, yes. Go ahead and buckle up there, safety first. And while we're talking about safety, uh, remind me to talk to your mama about the fact that she has not told you not to get into the car with strangers because you didn't know who I was or that I was coming. And I said, is your name Nia? You told me your name. Strike number one. Then I said, why don't you hop in the car? You hopped in the car. Strike number two. But uh, the good thing is, is that your mama actually did ask me to come and get you. So we're going to take away one of those strikes and just let you uh, know that you're a good judge of character. My character being me. I'm the character that you're judging correctly. Uh, if you weren't picking up what I was spilling there for a second there. Yeah. Um, you do get that, that I'm the character. Yeah. Okay, just, just double check it. So Nia, how was school? Um, that's fine. nice, that's awesome. I'm so glad to hear that. Um, you know, when people come in and they have this teen daycare with me, um, I always like to let them know, this isn't gonna be a time where you're just gonna sit around uh, playing video games and uh, and just, you know, lick and paste. You know what I'm saying? Like. I don't know if you guys lick paste when in your day, but in my day, we always used to lick the paste because it, was, it tasted kind of creamy and uh, salty. And the kids would lick the paste. And uh, honestly, it's probably why we have so many bowel problems as we are older today. Uh, but that, that is neither here nor over there. What I wanted you to know is that you are going to learn something today. Okay. And what I want to teach you today uh, is about your purpose and your future. Where are you going to go? What, what do you want to do when you grow up? You know what? That's really nice. Um, you probably want to be like an astronaut. You probably want to be uh, like, a, like a buffalo skinner. Uh, that's, that, that is something I've discovered about young people, and myself included. Like, we always want to be something exciting when we're young. You know, like a, like a, like a ferret. Ferrets are very exciting. If you've never caught a ferret, um, those things are exciting. I caught a ferret one time. Grabbed it by the neck, mainly because it was getting into my chicken coops. And uh, grabbed it by the neck, and he grabbed me by, by, by my neck with his tail, wrapped it right around. Couldn't even feel myself talking anymore. I said, Fair, let go. And uh, the ferret said, I'm not letting go of you. I said, Fair, why are you talking? He said, Because I'm a ferret. I said, That was very exciting, Fair. And Fair slapped me in the face, so I slapped him in the face. Then after that, I tried to shake him off, but he wouldn't shake off. They, their tail, they have grips like a monkey. It just wrapped right onto you. I started, my, my hands started turning blue. Started get, I started losing grip, but then I discovered that if I were to just uh, grab a chicken and hold it in front of him, then he would think that he would get to eat the chicken. He would loosen on me to try to grab the chicken. So I put the chicken up by his neck. I had the thing by his neck. And then all of a sudden the chicken said, and he said, Rawr! and I grabbed him, I threw him right off. But that's what I'm trying to say. Ferrets are very exciting animals. Yeah. Yeah. And people, uh, we often like to be, uh, be excited and have exciting careers you do want to have an exciting career yeah. that is that is very good and I'm proud of you for that all right now I'm gonna take you somewhere and I like to go and I like to relax and I like to think and the reason I'm taking you there is because I want you to relax and I want you to think about what you want to do with your life and we're gonna figure this out together how do you figure out what you're gonna do all right so like I said we're gonna come right over here and uh, we're going to do some golfing my way. <laughs> oh, it's the highway. <laughs> I'm just okay. kidding. There's no highway even close to over here. Okay. All right. So what we have here is the past uh, times when I came out here uh, to go golfing. This is the Grandpa Cletus version of golfing, as I've been trying to tell you. Uh, now, here's what we're going to do. We're going to give you a shot. Okay. Now, the first thing that we're going to give you a shot at is this here egg. And here's why, because the egg is in the baby state of form of things. Now, when you're figuring out who you're going to be, what God wants you to be, who he wants you to be, it's going to start out small, okay? So we're just going to, you you go ahead, we're going to take a whack at this. Go ahead, pick one out, pick one out. Yep. 
Now, I just want you to swing at that thing as hard as you can. Now, listen. As fun as that was, that wasn't very fun. Okay? So, we're going to give you another shot at this. I want you to swing it as hard as you can. And if you miss it, I will laugh. But you will have learned something. Okay. And... Yes! That's what I'm talking about! <laughs> Did that get in your face? Yeah. Let me tell you, sometimes life's going to get in your face. But you just got to wipe it off and keep on moving. All right, here's the next thing I'm going to give you. Now, this here is a breakfast burrito. Now, they say that the most important meal of the day is what? Breakfast. Dinner. Okay. Now, the reason we're going to do a breakfast burrito is because the breakfast is the way you start your day. And the way that you start your life, the way you start your day, the way you start everything should be with God. Okay? Now, if you're looking for who you're going to be and what God wants you to be, you're going to start with God. So I want you to hit that breakfast burrito hard as you can right over there. You know what? Let's, let's go with something a little different this time. Let's go with this guy. Now, I call this the power smacker. Okay? Because yeah. you're going to get the most power out of this. So get, 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 just whack that thing silly. Yes! That's what I'm talking about. You see that burrito roll down the thing? Yeah. Yes. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. Thank now, here's what I want you to go do. I want you to go chop that thing in half. Go chop it in half. Yeah, don't be scared. It's not going to bite you. Yeah! <laughs> Wait a minute. Sorry, I thought maybe there was a second burrito there. Chop it in half! Yes! Okay, in half. There you go. There it is. Now look at those hands. See? When you put in the work, other people get the benefit. That's what I want you to see here. Here's what next. You're going to take this axe. I'm going to toss you this chicken. Okay. And you're going to hit it in midair. Okay? Because not everything is just going to sit on the ground for you. You're going to, you're going to hit this chicken out of the midair with this axe. Okay? I want you to, to, to think about the fact that your ancestors were Vikings. I don't know if they were or not. Vikings. Hold on to this. Let me see you take a swing. Okay, it's good. that is not going to work. Let me tell you to take a real swing, like you're about to cut this chicken in half out midair. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. Here we go. Ready? Watch the chicken hit the axe. Yes! <laughs> Incredible! You are my finest student that I have ever had. Look at that, that chicken right there. Yep. It's all in pieces. You did that. You did that. You made this happen. Congratulations. I'm proud of you. <laughs> yes! Oh! oh. I know. <laughs> disgusting now I'm proud of you I'm really proud of you you chopped this chicken into smithereens and sometimes you got to do that with life okay now here's the main thing you need to remember number one it's gonna be things that you already like all right then maybe you're gonna like it later things that you're already good at things God's gifted you at just think about it ask people what am I good at let me hear you say that what am I good at I don't know but somebody will be able to tell you okay now the other thing you're gonna need to think about is what is God giving you a passion for? Okay. What's God giving you a passion for? Baking. That's great. Okay. So, I want you to take this chicken and I want you to bake a cake out of it. Go ahead and take it. God wants to use you in that chicken to bake a cake. Actually, I'm going to eat this one, but you can use a different chicken. All right. Now, here's the last thing is... Try different things. Try different things and see which works. Okay. okay? Now I'm proud of you. Thank you. Okay, but well we're not going to waste this chicken here. Okay. All right. So I'm going to hit this. You ready? Now what do you think I'm trying to tell you by this analogy? I don't know. The egg. <laughs> Eggs? Something about eggs. Something about eggs. I have failed. 
Watch more Grandpa Cletus on the 418 Revolution app. You can get it for free on the Apple Market and the Google Plays. It's free. What more do you want?